in November 2015, my journey started. I woke up to go to work at 4 o'clock like I always do and with a terrible migraine. I heard him downstairs crying. I told my wife Amy, I said, I think we need to go to the emergency room. The ER doctor told us, he said, he has a huge brain mass, huge brain mass. And I still can hear it. After surgery, he said I removed a glioblastoma, multiform grade four tumor. I had no idea what that was, what it meant. My wife Amy did. I knew then that that was a death sentence. I was just trying to keep it together. We had just gotten married. My son was getting married. My daughter was graduating college. I just knew I had to survive. They presented us with some clinical trial options. And then I realized what an impact I might have by completing this successfully and helping others. He blew through it with flying colors. There was, thank God, no sign of cancer. As far as I'm concerned, I'm cancer free. Most patients, like Andy, have to withdraw from chemotherapy because their bone marrow fails. Our group actually invented a gene therapy technology to change the genes inside the bone marrow cells so that he could tolerate chemotherapy better. The discoveries that are being made here are impacting the world. We work as a very close triad, Case Western Reserve, University Hospitals, and the Cleveland Clinic. And we cover the largest percentage of cancer patients in any major metropolitan area by far. Nobody touches us. We're proud of the fact that these two competing clinical institutions can put that aside for the greater good. Of course, as physician scientists, we see the fruits of our work and, of course, our failures. Clearly, this constitutes a tremendous motivation. Cleveland has a very high smoking prevalence, more than double the national average. By conducting high-level evidence-based tobacco interventions, we hopefully bring about change and reduce the risk of cancer. In the last two or three years, we have introduced more drugs for treatment of leukemias than it has been in the past 20 years. Very proud of John Wang's discovery of genetic abnormalities in patients with colon cancer. And now he's in a clinical trial and is showing dramatic results. They're breakthroughs and we want to build on them. For instance, CAR T therapy. We modified white blood cells to attack a tumor. And take people who would otherwise not be around in three months with untreatable leukemia and generate remissions that are lasting today. And we are for the first time offering cells produced right here for our patients. Our Office of Cancer Disparities and this Comprehensive Cancer Center in particular, I think it serves as a model for other institutions. This is a tremendous privilege pleasure and also responsibility. The resources are limited. Patients have limited lifespans. We need to make difference now. You now people need to understand that there is hope. It doesn't have to be a death sentence. It does not have to be a death sentence. I'm living proof of that. <laughs>